This is a walkthrough of the system design course at Interview Ready. If you haven't checked out the course or you have checked it out but you haven't completed it, this walkthrough will be useful to you. First, you'll need to log in. If you're not from India, you don't need to fill in the zip code. You can also sign up with Google or GitHub. After signing in, we get the option of a free preview. Now, I would highly recommend you to watch the preview before you buy the course. But in case you're super confident, yes, you can buy it directly and you can apply a coupon code also if you have one. Let's go for the free preview. You can see that this course is broken into four sections. The first one is fundamentals. The second one is high level design. The third one is low level design. And you also have additional free resources. Now, if you've never done system design before, or if you want to brush up on your fundamentals, I would highly recommend you go here. All of the videos here are free and they give you a good idea of what will be coming up in the course. Usually Each of these videos has an about section, which tells you useful information about the video. There's a resources section in case there's any videos we want to send you to. There's a note section where you can take down specific notes that you find are useful for this video. For example, I might note down that this is an interesting introduction. Okay, so you can take down notes which you might find useful for your upcoming interviews or for upskilling in general. And finally, you also have the discussion section, which is quite useful. Once you're comfortable, you can head to the advanced section, which is the paid course. So for this, you might unlock the course after buying it. So let's click on buy now. You have the option of choosing in INR or USD. If you go for the international payment, that will be in USD. If you're going for the Indian payment, that is in INR. After your purchase, you should be able to see that you're enrolled in the course. If not, don't worry, you can always contact us. Your GST invoice is also available here. Now let's go to the course. You can see that your course progress is measured here. I would strongly recommend you to complete the course if you possibly can. We in fact have a certificate as an additional incentive for 100% completion. You can rate this video. In case you don't like it, please let us know by giving us a one star. And if you loved it, please give us a five star and anything in between is also fine. Most of the videos have architecture diagrams to supplement the video lessons. There's also quiz sections which help you test yourself and find whether you understood the concept at a deep level. Uh, we have FAQs and API contracts for relevant chapters. We also sometimes have capacity estimation for relevant chapters. Now let's head to the section of high level design. High level design involves taking a large scale distributed system like Gmail and figuring out how its components behave. For example, the Gmail system should have a gateway, which will be taking requests from clients and then sending it to our internal services like an authentication service. In contrast, you also have low level design. Our first low level design chapter is on splitwise. Low level design is about taking a particular component of a large scale distributed system like splitwise and finding out what are the objects and classes that this design requires. This means that you are closer to designing the code and the test cases that this system needs. My recommendation would be to go through the fundamentals first, then go for high level design and then go for low level design. The reason I say that is because if you have a look at the additional free resources section, this should be enough to clear an SD one interview. For SD twos, I would recommend going through the entire course. Uh, and for SD threes, again, I would do the same. So this course is primarily for SD two to SD three interview level. Now for senior folks in the engineering product or program management side of things, I don't think you'll be seeing something very new in the course. You can use this as a useful revision material. Finally, if you have any more doubts, you can always contact us through the chatbot. The chatbot is designed to answer your simple queries in an automated way to save time. And if there are any complex queries or anything specific that you want, we will be responding to you in 24 hours. If you are more comfortable talking to us on email, you can always do that at contact at interviewready.io. Also, we have a contact us form so that you can easily fill out your message and just send some bit. A screenshot will be really appreciated if you're looking to resolve a bug. All right, we are all set. All the best.